Welcome to the Master Wong TV. On this lesson, I have one of my apprentices, the first level Wing Chun apprentice, complete the training. So now, I will teach him personally myself. On this series of lessons, I will go through with you how I teach my apprentice to become good movement, strong leg, strong in a such a way they can deal with things. This lesson here, I will take you through all the training when you're training by yourself. I will guide you along, show you what is need to be done. The first exercise we're going to talk to you about, marble. It's a footwork, okay? So, if you're ready, got someone there, come in, and I'll show you how to do that. Leave it over to you, Jim. First, fit in, open, one, two, Three. Now, few things here you need to remember. When you open them out, don't open too wide. Enough line there so that it can be close up, okay? Hand up, down, across. Make sure the cross open and then back. Why you need to have your hand in here but not down to the waist here? Because when you put one hack here, is this system, the Wing Chun system, is designed by the woman. In that time, they are protecting their pair of titty. Okay, that's why the hand here is protecting that fun here. That's why even though we're training for the block, he haven't got a bigger ditty here, but we have to train that way because it's uh, meant to be. Now, when your hand is here, first thing we want to exercise is the leg. Up. Why we exercise the leg here? Okay, down. Is to make sure this leg inside here is strong. Turn out away for me. This side here of the leg here got to be strong enough to cover the line. That got to be close here, so you can't kick it in the coin. The line in there, everything is in line, straight. Up again, and then down. Now you do for a bit, you feel your leg there, it's strong. Okay, that's what you need. Turn back here again. What we're going to do, we're going to do 10 of this exercise. Okay, are you ready? Go one, up, go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Now, the whole idea is when you come down, the leg there, body, don't lean toward like that, okay? Or don't lean back like that. You see a lot of them, that do, do, do that sort of training. Now, if you go like that, and then you up again, and then down, you're basically losing the balance, too much weight in the back. Turn out of the way so you can see, turn out of the way. Now, turn like that, okay? Now, up, and then down, you would lost balance, okay? You will fall over that way because too much weight here. Imminent when you're getting up to stand it, turn back again. We're gonna show you when you're working on to the ball. So you can see if you don't in this balance, everything in line, you will fall over. You lost balance, okay? Now what you gotta do is when you're understanding this, you practice turn for second turn for me. So you know you're in line. When you're turning, make sure everything is in line, square on, like that. Weight in the back leg properly here, lock. Pick the leg up so you're able to pick it up. Okay, to another side. This is start you up the first lesson to understanding the leg and the turning. Okay, line again, everything in line. Make sure the movement is right. Turn back here to me. That way, turn back center. That's where you are in line. Yeah, that's what you do. When you do up and down, up again, and down, you feel your knee, all the movement there, it starts getting ache. But that's good. Because if you spend a little bit of time practice like it up again, and down, it's exercising the leg, all the ligament getting stronger. If it, when it's strong, then easy you to work with. Okay, finish it off. Up, fit in, one, two, three, and then hand down. Okay, think of that. That's the idea. Spend a little bit of time, go through all this. I need to explain to you everything that as you go. If you've got any problem with all the training, go to the masterwong.tv. I'm here, glad to help you, to make sure you understand it. Everything we do here, it's got to make sense. Why we don't lean this way? Why we have to do this way? Why we have to do that way? All this training, I will guide you along. Exactly the same way as that I teach my apprentice. You have me as your personal trainer, personal master, face-to-face -face teaching you. So spend a little time practice. I will see you again on to the next lesson. <laughs>